So we just finished watching Child Bride with the teachers and the interns of Loba Shereki in Sabuk. It's May 15th, 2009. And I think some of our girls have something they'd like to say. Jane. Rachel, Rachel I'm sorry. <coughs> okay, after watching the movie, I think we are going to be good mentors here because most of us are over 18 and we are not yet married. So I guess the girl ch children here, they will follow our example and they will refuse to be married. Yeah, thank you. Sorry, Rachel is one of our interns and she's uh, graduated from high school. And she says they, she thinks they'll be great mentors here because so many of these students don't know people who are, who are, um, have graduated from high school even, right? Naomi. Okay, for me, I urge the society to protect their girls, the young girls, mm. and not to give them out for marriage mm -hmm. since they are young and they have a future to live and they can become somebody important in our nation in mm. the years that are coming. She says the young girls can be important in our nation and she hopes the community will not marry them early. All right, now Jane. <laughs> <laughs> mm. To me, I'm very surprised to know that this happens all over the world and this means that a program is supposed to set and this is supposed to be worldwide to make sure that the girls know the right and also they should know that to educate a girl is to educate the nation. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Yes, do you have anything you want to say? Yeah. I would like to say that this program is nice because it's educating the girls mm. and I know that all of us are going to take care and are going to get married in that is. 30s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Yuna. Yes. To me, I think that tip was good and the skills that they are using there, I'm ready to help the girls here around this locality. So I'm very new, but I can see the girls are still very few. Mm -hmm. But I'm hoping in some years they are going to be more and more. They are going to graduate like us. <coughs> mm -hmm. Yes. There are not. Are there as many girls here as boys at the school? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boys are many. Yeah. Girls are few, especially in the older grades. Yes. And. Um, hmm. So why is it so important for a girl to be educated? If you're not educated, you probably get married and you're not, are you equal to your husband? Mm -hmm. No. And if you are educated and you can work and, does that make a difference? Yes. Why? The girl will have the same opportunity as them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm able to decide for herself. Mm -hmm. Also, she'll have a responsibility that is how to take care of their, their young ones. Mm -hmm. yeah. So do you think um, an educated woman, will you educate both of your children, both girls and boys? Yeah. Or just yes. the boys? Mm -hmm. <laughs> or just the girls? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You would do both. Mm -hmm. And um, you've all graduated from high school with your s scholarship or sponsorship from Beads for Education. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Yes. When did you start being sponsored? What, what class were you in, uh, Emma? I was in class eight. Mm -hmm. Jane? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Do you think um, you would have gotten through high school, secondary school, if you did not have the sponsorship? No. 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 Do you think you'd be married? Yeah, yes. Yes? Yes. 
Well, if you weren't in school, would you be married? No. No. There's a no. There's a yes. (laughs) 